Hi, I'm Aidan from Reincubate, and I'm going to show you how to recover lost or deleted photos using iPhone Backup Extractor. That includes your iCloud Photo Library and your iCloud Photo Stream. iPhone Backup Extractor can help you do all sorts of things, from recovering deleted messages to downloading and transferring your iCloud content, and even recovering lost passcodes. If you'd like to follow along, you'll see there's a guide linked below. Let's get started. You can download the free edition of iPhone Backup Extractor from iPhoneBackupExtractor.com or by following the link below. On Windows, you double-click the downloaded file to install it, and on MacOS, you drag it to your Applications folder before running it. Once iPhone Backup Extractor is running, you'll see your backup shown on the left-hand side of the app. If you don't already have a backup, here's how you create one. Load iTunes on your PC or Mac and connect your phone with a USB cable. Once you click on the icon for your device, ensure This Computer and Encrypted iPhone Backup are selected, and choose Backup Now. That'll take a minute or two to create or update your backup. Make sure you remember the password you chose for the encrypted backup, though if you forget it, our support team can help you recover it. OK, now we're sure you've got a backup, let's get to it. If your backup is encrypted, you'll be prompted for its password before you view it. Once you've entered your password, you'll be able to see the overview screen and a summary of your backup's contents. The overview shows you the photos icon, along with a count of the number of photos and videos that are recoverable from your backup. If you click the icon, iPhone Backup Extractor will extract your photos. It's as easy as that, but there's more we can do. If you just want to preview the photos and videos from your device, you can do that by clicking Preview and then Photos. If you're using the paid edition of iPhone Backup Extractor, you'll be able to view content from your iCloud Photo Library and Photo Stream. Let's look at that now. On the left-hand side of iPhone Backup Extractor, you'll see a prompt to click to add your iCloud account. Do that and follow the prompts it gives you to add your account. You'll need to enter your iCloud username, password, and two-factor code if you have it enabled. iPhone Backup Extractor will then show you an overview of your iCloud account and you'll see iCloud Photo Library and Photo Stream icons that you can click to export your photos and videos in the same way as before. Access to iCloud accounts in iPhone Backup Extractor is a paid feature, but if you'd rather not buy a license, you could create an iTunes backup and use the first approach I described. The free version is able to recover four photos at a time, and that might just be right for what you need. If necessary, you can pull out any number of photos and videos in the free edition, so long as you do so four at a time. We built iPhone Backup Extractor back in 2008, when it was the first tool to work with iPhone data, and we've been building it and helping users ever since then. We tend to ship updates once a week, and if there's a change or new feature you'd like to see, please let us know. If you run into any problems recovering your photos, videos, or iCloud content, please reach out to us, either with a live chat on our site, or through support at reincubate.com. We're fanatical about helping people recover their Apple data, and we'd love to help you as well. Thanks for watching, and please hit the subscribe button if you like this video.